What's up guys, I'm at SHOT Show. I'm at PSA and there's a couple new guns you might want to look at here. Introduce yourself to the world and tell us what you got, man. Uh, my name is Dale Morgan. I'm the Senior Design Engineer for Palmetto State Armory. I'm holding the new PSA ARV. It's a Scorpion Mag AR-15, 9mm blowback. So, we did a few things a little different here. It's got a paddle style mag release, but we pulled the geometry forward so you can use your finger to drop the mag, the same you know, how you would use your, your finger for the AR-15. Does it actually drop free if you push it? Oh yeah, nice. Yep. Very nice. It has a last round bolt hole open, so the bolt locks back. The bolt releases on the side. And this is the sister gun to the AKV, the AK 9mm version. So we carry the geometry of the bolt stop, the bolt release over. This is a 16 inch version. This is geared more toward a uh, competition speed gun. Lightweight, it's very light. This is about five pounds. Nice. Now, uh, what triggers can you drop in here? So this will accept any AR-15 trigger. Oh, cool. Yeah, so we did a lot of work with the bolt, making sure that there was enough geometry on the bottom of the bolt to reset all of, all of the triggers. What about the selector? Can you put other selectors? Yeah, absolutely. This is standard AR-15 selector. So if it works in your AR, it'll work in this. Awesome. How much is that going to sell for, roughly? You know? This will be, uh, we don't have a price on it yet, but I'm looking for this gun to be seven, eight, nine, seven to eight ninety nine. Yeah. Sounds about right. Yeah. Ooh. And this is my baby. This is the PSA Jackal. <laughs> awesome. This is a seven and a half inch, 300 blackout. Buffer tubeless they are, so it has no buffer tube. It's a piston driven, long stroke piston, internal spring, it's a, it's a captured recoil spring, so it doesn't come out when you open the gun. It is a, it's compatible with standard AR lower, so there's a stock adapter that allows the standard lower to work with the upper. It's monolithic, so there's a the receiver and the handguard are one unit. It has a three position adjustable gas block. It's uh, regular fire, suppressed, and off. So the offsetting is there if you want to be extra quiet, don't want the bolt to open when you shoot. Side charging, non reciprocating. Oh, nice. We are working on a ambidextrous version, so you'll be able to put the charging handle on either side. So to lock the bolt back to the rear, just pull that back and it'll lock in the last shot. Change mags, and then you do HK kind of slap or what? Oh, just like an air. Yep. Okay. Cool. Very nice. Uh, you got ballpark prices or not? Pricing on this one as well? This will be about the same, between seven and eight hundred. Okay. Awesome. Standard blackout only for now. So, initial release will be 300 blackout and a seven and a half inch. We'll do a five five six next, but that'll be a ten and a half inch. So we'll pull the, the gas block out the carbine link, and we'll extend the handguard of the top of the receiver out to that same link. Uh, after the 556 comes out, we'll do a blowback 9 millimeter, 9 millimeter, and we'll use the ARV lower, so you get that magazine and this upper receiver and 9 millimeter blowback. And I love this uh, brace. Yep. If you squint your eyes, if you're, if you're not paying attention, it doesn't look like a brace. Nope. nope. So this is the same brace that we use on the AKV and the AKP. Yeah. It fits this this platform really well. It folds flat, locks up. And the <laughs> firearm is still functional with it folded. Oh, cool. You can find it. Yep, yep. Awesome. So your recoil system is inside. Love it. That is cool. I like it. I like it. Oh, this is